Hi, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to sell a domain on GoDaddy. So before we start, of course, the first thing that you would like to do is just go and open whatever browser you are going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually using Brave, but of course in your case, you can use any other browser could be possibly working for you. Once you open that browser, make sure to go into this URL section, simply type godaddy.com and hit the enter button. Of course, that should take you into this page. And if you're facing any issues with the language, as I faced in my first time in this website, you'll have to scroll down until the bottom of it and make sure to change the country or region, which will take the or which will change the language with it. Of course, if you want even to change the currency, that will be possible. So now I will have to go back and log in into your account if you have one. And if you don't have an account, you'll have to go and create one. Of course, you will be able to do both options as this top right corner option, you will find the option to create or even log in into your account. Once you did one of those two options, you'll find yourself on this screen, which is going to be your home screen or your main screen on the Get on GoDaddy website. So as you said in the beginning of this tutorial, we would like to sell our domain or a domain on GoDaddy. So for now, we'll not, this, we'll not need this page. We'll have to go to the domain portfolio on GoDaddy. So open a new page. Simply type dcc.godaddy.com and hit the enter button. That should take you into a new page, which is the domain portfolio. Of course, they ask you to log in into your account. Just go and log in into it again. It will not take much of time. And from here, you will have all the lists of the domain names that you have into your account. Of course, simply select all the domain names that you would like to sell. Uh, for me, I have just this one, so I'm gonna just select this one. Then, and of course, once you select all the domain names that you'd like to sell, uh, normally you'll have here an option get started. But of course, if you don't have it, you will normally have instead of it a list for sale. Simply click on this list for sale, and this should appear to you. As you can see, thousands of domains are sold every day by people like you, so you can list this for sale. Of course, you can check this. Don't show me this again if you don't want to see it again. So click on to get started. As you can see here, they, you will see your domain name. You will see the estimated value. And here you can set your buy no price on USD. Of course, you can or you would like to have it on the same estimated value, more or less, so it can be sold. So, of course, you can here set the price, let's say as an example, one uh, or 1k and 300 and of course you can even here set the floor price of course there's a difference between share your buy now price if you want to buy it now you can actually like buy it for let's say as an example 150 and of course if you want to to start with the floor uh, with the floor price you can start with like 1k and 300 of course you can add it to the sale page by checking this option simply click at next as you can see, they are asking you if you check this, are you sure you want to replace the current content of your domain with a sale page? One of your domain have an existing content by selecting yes, I'm sure you agree to replace your current content with a sale page. Click yes, I'm sure. And here will automatically create your new Afternic account when you list your domain. Of course, simply click at list my domain and wait let's just wait for the page until it flows as you can see they'll ask you to sign in again to continue so make sure to sign in into your account of course if you are signing with something you can just go and sign it with this again which i'm doing here so let me just sign with this and as you can see now we will have to sign with the same account again make sure it's the same account if you have like a lot of accounts so here they'll give you your informations and you will be good to go once you find this. So this will be actually for this tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you guys for watching and goodbye.